that bravery. Thank you for, I, as I was reading, I thought the message would be great on your behalf, but you stood your ground, you stood brave. Uh, I just, you know, when, when we put this program, we thought somebody would deliver the speech on behalf of Professor Peter Kashavivi, but he was so brave and um, he delivered his passionate speech. Only him could speak that of his wife. Thank you so much. And thank you for the children, the tradition, passionate, very powerful, made us to tear a bit. But we were here to strengthen you. We, I was supposed to be strengthening Isabel, but uh, um, as she was reading, I was like shedding a little bit of tear here and there. Yeah, now we are almost coming to what's the end of this um, part one program. I want to call um, the choir or the parliamentary choir. Um, somehow, when this thing happened, we kept on sending uh, very powerful messages and songs to Professor Peter Kashavivi to comfort him. And one of those songs that we have shared, um, we, we interpreted it that that's what Jane was telling her husband. So could the choir um, move forward so that we deliver that song? So these are members of parliament who came together um, to practice a song which we are going to sing. Come on forward, and the and the the deputy speaker will also be part of that because he will then deliver the message um, of the president. Yeah. Message on behalf of the president. Oh, okay. You you will speak as a member of parliament. Yeah, as a member of parliament, deputy speaker. Oh, you will speak first. Okay. That's good. So, but arrange yourself, you know, stand nicely. The people who practice, you stand at the front. Here, you are singing. You are not singing from, yeah, at the front. The people who practice should stand at the front, and the people who are joining us um, will stand behind. So that, you know, they, could you kindly just divide yourself a bit? so that the people could see the deputy speaker speaking. Then just stand at attention. As soon as he had finished, we will sing. Thank you. Uh, our dear speaker, Professor Peter Tachavidi, the children and the extended family, Allow me also to recognize our Chief Justice, first our Vice President and Madam Nangol Mbumba, our Chief Justice, the Governor of Commerce Region. And from there, allow me to abide to the protocol as it was already established. We, the Parliament of the Republic of Namibia, have learned with shock and sadness about the passing on of Madam Rosemary Jane Kachavidi, the beloved wife of our dear speaker, 
Professor Kachabibi, the mother to their beloved children and grandchildren. Uh, Honorable Professor Kachabibi, our speaker, the children, the extending families, we are here to share the grief you are feeling now and to give you comfort at the same time to celebrate the rich life of your dear wife. Madam Kachadivi was a dedicated wife, mother, sister, and grandmother, and a friend to many, not only in Namibia, but around the world. We will remember her for her gentleness, kindness, considerations, <coughs> eagerness to help everybody, as we have, have, have also had a writer, a publisher of note, as it was already eloquently described. Honorable Speaker, we know Jane Rosemary was your greatest pillar, not only at home, as you have stated, but also at work. We, as a parliamentarian, will miss her presence because whenever we have most important occasions, she used to sit there. And your word always, when you recognize the protocol, Vivi Peace, you said, and my dear wife. Our speaker, while knowing that words alone cannot convey how deeply we feel with you and the entire family during this time of sorrow, the entire parliament, more specific, the politician in those two August House, as well as the staff, will try our level best to lessen your pain. On behalf of the entire parliament, I hereby extend our heartfelt sympathy and the condolences to you, our honorable speaker, the children, and the entire family. Mind comfort in the hands of thy almighty God, and may he grant you strength to overcome this great loss. We pray that our Almighty God will give you strength and carry you through the days that lie ahead. As the quote goes, there is no storm that God won't carry you through, no bridge that God won't help you to cross. No battle, God won't help you to win. Trust God and never give up. Close quote. My, the soul of Madame Rosemary Jane Kachavivi rests in perfect peace. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we have selected a, a song, and it is an Oshiererero, and I just want to uh, give you the gist, like the 
speaker will always say, no, we'll have to say it before, so that the people will understand what it is we are singing. Or do you prefer to sing and afterwards you, you can translate? Okay. <coughs> okay. Let me come and join the choir.
Mira Jesus, Mira Jesus. That's where my permanent home is. In the heavenly places. So that I will drink the water of life. In the fountain of life. Mira Jesus, Mira Jesus. Accompany me, Holy Spirit, so that I will be steadfast, so that I will not sleep, and when I'm about to fall, don't leave me. Keep me near Jesus, near Jesus. That's what she is saying. We should let her go. And she is near Jesus, as she had believed. As she had confessed with her mouth, so it is with her.